I am studying the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Engineering. I studied at St James before coming to Exeter College. I'm studying Film Studies, Photography and History at A Level. I'm studying Engineering at the Foundation Diploma level. I'm studying Level 2 Body Repair Apprenticeship. Before I came to Exeter College, I went to Stimmouth Community College. I done a Carpentry and Joinery Level 1 Diploma. I chose this course because I really enjoy engineering and it seemed to fit with the GCSEs that I got and because it's not an A-level course there's less exams which means that it's more coursework based which is what I'm better at doing. Yeah, I've met some really nice people here. You can just meet people from all over Exeter in the college. They don't even have to be doing the same specific course as you. I've enjoyed my time here and I mainly recommend the facilities and the opportunities that can be given and provided and the staff are very welcoming and they definitely provide the care that any student deserves. The facilities are excellent, they have incredible tools, they have incredible equipment to be working with and it definitely provides you with the very best that you can be given to start off with before going into the industry. I chose to do mechanics when I was in full time because it, my mother was a mechanic for a rally team and she currently works for Pirelli and that set me off very much in the industry of cars. My hopes for the future after college is to carry on in the industry and progress to hopefully owning either my own garage or working for a rally company and supporting the women in the industry and proving that they can do it. I studied at Exmouth Community College I done during my last two years, my GCSE two years, I done two just two sort of technologies that related to woodwork. So that's why I chose to then come on to do this instead of an A level. The atmosphere has been really good. I've learned a lot whilst I've been here. I've really enjoyed it because I learned a lot of things, loads more hand skills and just general practicality stuff. The staff have been really good, um, really supportive and everything I've done and I've I'm getting things wrong, they would help me. Um, my tutor's been really helpful in just general stuff like trying to complete assignments and get stuff done on time and just push me to be a little bit better. I really recommend Exeter College due to the facilities that, that are there, um, the support that you get given and just everything's really good about it. The Sports Academy programme here at Exeter College is uh, potentially an additional element in students' timetables. The sports we have in the Sports Academy, currently there's 10 sports. Uh, students train around three times a week, potentially more depending on the programme. It is like being a semi-professional sports person because they're training and playing in fixtures. So pretty comprehensive. So the enrichment programme here at the college is, is vast, it's all free. Students can uh, enrol on various di different activities through the Freshers' Fair at the beginning of the academic year. And through that, they enrol on particular programmes which happen at the lunchtime or p potentially after, after college. My name's Bryony and I was previously at Earthcombe School. When I started my course at Exeter College, I didn't know very many people at all. I found it really easy to make friends though, the college is really supportive and there's lots of activities and groups you can join to make friends. I chose to study film because I love the way that films are made and the like theory behind it is really good. Since studying at the Centre for Creative Industries, I found that I have made lots of friends from other subjects and that a real like group has formed, you help each other out and you really get along. I hope to go on to study at the University of Exeter and study history. I came to Exeter College because it was the best option for me because they didn't offer the course what I wanted in sixth form. Since I started the course I've found a lot more friends because there are a lot more people who have a lot more in common with me. I just like the creativity. When I finish I hope to like not work in like a big fancy restaurant. I kind of just want to start small like maybe in like a small cafe where I can just you know create whatever I really think is nice. I decided to um, study the IB at, at Exeter College because I thought that it um, gave me a range of su subjects which didn't really limit me to three A-levels. When I finish the IB um, I'd like to take a gap year uh, in order for me to get experience, uh, for me to build an idea of what I want to study at university 
but I'm currently thinking I want to do politics. Uh, I think that teachers and lecturers have been uh, very well at uh, helping us and guiding us through the year. Um, my highlight of studying the IB at Exeter College has been getting to meet a really broad range of people and getting to study with them in lessons and making new friends. When I finish the IB, I hope to study veterinary medicine at university. Um, it's been really easy to make friends on the IB because we're a really small group, so you've always got someone that you know is in basically all of your lessons and you can always go to people if you want help and everybody's just really lovely. So the transition from GCSE has been kind of smooth. My teachers and lecturers have been really helpful. They're always only an email away. I teach biology. Um, and I've been here for about 10 years. I have two other hats that I wear at college. I coordinate the Gifted and Talented Provision, the REACH Academy, and I also coordinate the Oxbridge Applications Cross College. Okay, so the new Maths and Science Centre has provided us with fantastic facilities for teaching biology. I teach in here predominantly all the time, so the students become very familiar with the resources that we have. Um, we're standing here in the uh, preparation room, which is adjacent to both laboratories, so it makes technical help and the resources freely available all the time. When I first enrolled to the college in 2015, I studied the Level 2 Engineering Diploma. Well, then I went to, on to progress to study the Level 390 credit and now I'm doing the Extended Diploma. So there's a lot of progression within the college which can be enjoyed. I like the fact that there's a lot of independent study and that during the second year of this course a, a massive part of that is your project and so that, like I said, requires a lot of independent study and from all the tutors at the college, it is a, I've had nothing but brilliance from them. They, they are very supportive in the sense that if you are struggling or you do fall behind, they're very much there to help in regards to those situations and to get you through it, which is, I'm very grateful for. Within the tech centre, there's a lot of new facilities brought in. And so one of the facilities that I've very much enjoyed using was the visual welders and then moving on to real life welding. I would highly recommend Exeter College to anyone who even questioned it. The facilities here are next to none and I think that anyone who passed upon the opportunity to come here would regret it later on. But you meet people from all different walks of life and different backgrounds who have different dreams and, and things that they want to do and so like meeting these people is brilliant in the sense of everyone can come together and sort of put across their interests and start to understand other people's and I think that's something that can provide you with experience for when you leave the college.